Hi, in this video we will be looking at the newly announced R tools for Visual Studio. You may, have, may be familiar with the R programming language uh, or the R environment. Um, it's an open source product uh, that is uh, used for statistical analysis and uh, predictive learning, predictive modeling. It's been around for a long time and uh, does have a lot of features that are compatible to say SAS or SPSS. Uh, Microsoft recently added support for R within the Visual Studio ecosystem. So this is the website uh, where you can obtain R tools for Visual Studio. It's really easy to download and get started. Uh, you can um, install it as an extension uh, and then once it's all configured, the steps are all clearly documented here. It's point and click install and then you have um, R available within the Visual Studio environment. So one of the things that uh, is particularly uh, of interest uh, to Syncfusion and, and the Syncfusion um, Essential Studio environment is that for quite some time now, we have supported R um, in the modeling of uh, predictive applications. So we have um, supported this um, environment which allows you to build a predictive model uh, within R or other environments uh, that are compatible and then to export that model into predictive model markup language and then to be able to um, completely independent of R or any other modeling environment that was used to embed the predictive model um, execution within your .NET um, C Sharp or VB.NET application. So I'm just going to showcase that really quickly today. Um, so before you follow along, you have to ensure that the R tools for Visual Studio is downloaded and installed. So this is the WPF sample browser. Um, the support itself is not limited to WPF. We have, uh, it's, it's just a non-UI library. Uh, we showcase that under WPF, under web and, and JavaScript and so forth, but I'm just gonna pick the WPF to kind of walk through it. Um, so you can launch the WPF uh, predictive analytics sample browsing environment. And uh, um, you, you see that we have support for um, different models here basically. So I'm just going to pick the uh, simplest one, uh, regression. So if I click on that, uh, I'm just going to pick the first sample, the car sample, uh, which um, takes a bunch of features and then uh, predicts the price of the car based on the features basically. So it uses a training set, uh, which is used to train the model. And then once we have the model trained, um, then we can persist it as a PMML file and then um, use it to predict the actual values. So let's uh, take a look at the s steps that are involved. Um, the R code is here um, and uh, the PMML code is also available here. Um, it makes it very easy to look at the um, sample within this WPF environment or other things, but I'm not going to look at this. I'm going to open the individual cars regression sample um, on disk and then um, open that sample independently as a console application and then work with it that way. Um, so I'm going to go to the explore sample option here to uh, get to the right folder. Um, you have to click on the version of Essential Studio that you have installed and then go to common analytics and then click on regression under that um, and uh, click on cars basically. And then once you have that, you can open it in Visual Studio. There's a cars.sln solution file that's provided. So open that. And uh, once that comes up, um, so you can see that uh, the um, sample has um, not only the C-sharp code, um, but also a PMML file and then uh, also um, the actual R code that was uh, that was uh, used to model the regression. So once you click the uh, double click the R file cars.r to open it, uh, you see that Visual Studio loaded the um, R interactive console at the bottom uh, because I have R tools already installed um, and configured. So now I can actually simply run the script by saying source R script, um, I can just do control R, control S, and that will uh, run the script. Uh, before you do that, uh, make sure that these packages are installed on your system, and uh, the way you do that uh, is if you simply type install.packages, and then for instance, if I want to install the PMML package, then that's what I would do, and hit enter, and the environment will configure itself. So we depend on three packages in this case, the PMML package, the GModels package, and the carrot package. Uh, and this is, uh, once this is installed, you're good to go. 
Um, the data set uh, cars is actually included uh, with, the, uh, uh, with, with the R environment once these packages are uh, installed. So we do a little bit of pre-processing to remove some uh, omitted values, missing values, and so forth. And then, as is the case with all predictive modeling, um, usually we split it into training data and test the data. Test data, and then we build the regression. Uh, in this case, uh, we are modeling the price on everything else. The dot stands for everything else uh, in the um, data set. And then, uh, once this is done, um, then uh, we persist this to a PMML file, um, and uh, um, and we load the PMML file in the uh, program basically to to run it. Now, in this case, uh, by default, um, our um, you, if you're running this, uh, you can get the working directory, and I'm actually set to um, this is the working directory. So if, if you want to overwrite the existing PMML file, then you will have to use uh, set WD to uh, set the working directory and or overwrite the file. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to run this uh, in the console just to show you the um, output. And I'm just going to source our script. Uh, it's going to run uh, and uh, take a few seconds to build the model. And in this case, I already have the PMML file persisted. So you can see that this is uh, with a regression, linear regression model. It's a question of computing weights for each of these factors. And uh, then the weights are used to actually do the prediction of the price here. Um, if you look at the C sharp code, uh, we import the Syncfusion PMML namespace and then load the uh, uh, PMML file uh, to actually do the processing. Uh, the CSV data is uh, used to uh, bring in the data that we use to do the predictions. Uh, we also have uh, um, um, pre-saved the, uh, the predictions from the R environment itself uh, to compare it, basically, and that's what this console application will do uh, to run the predictions with our um, engine, with the Syncfusion PMML engine, and then to compare it with predictions that we issued by R. It should, everything should match, basically. So if you run this, uh, you will simply get a note that everything matches um, and uh, you're good to go. Now if you were to include this support into your own environment, all you would have to do is to include the Syncfusion PMML library and then uh, ship just the PMML model itself. Uh, you would have no uh, dependence on the R environment that was used for modeling basically. Um, you can also use, uh, if you're um, using the Syncfusion big data environment, you can use Spark. Um, and uh, the ML lib, ML lib uh, uh, framework in Spark to uh, train and export a PMML uh, file uh, on a cluster, and then uh, uh, we support that environment also, basically. So you can bring that PMML file and then um, execute and deploy the model. So there's a lot of other models that are supported. Uh, this is just a quick start. Um, so if you are doing predictive modeling now with uh, an alternate environment such as SAS or SPSS, uh, and you have licenses for Visual Studio, please do give this a, a, a look. Uh, uh, this may uh, help you to do predictive modeling within the Visual Studio environment and also to easily integrate this uh, within the uh, C-sharp uh, stack that you already have. Uh, if you haven't looked at predictive modeling uh, in the past, uh, please do take a look at it. Uh, Syncfusion publishes a book on R called R Succinctly that is available from our website. You can download it, it's a free book. It will help you get started with R. And now with first class support uh, for R within the Visual Studio environment, it's very easy to get started with predictive modeling, to do the modeling, and also to deploy it uh, with your .NET applications. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, uh, let us know through our support system. Uh, good luck with your uh, predictive modeling efforts. Thank you.